seven, nine, two, and one. Right. You understand? Gather yourselves together. The Lord want us to come together as a people. So we, you know what I mean? So we can be a family again. But we ain't family because the oppressor, America, separates us. Right. Because the, the America has set up crafty council to divide us. So when, when a black man see a Latino man, man, he, they, they look at each other as enemies. When a Mexican see a black man, automatically he think, oh man, that's a Moreno. That's a Mayate right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they look at them as an enemigo. But that's not right. your enemy, man. That's your family, man. That's right, your right. blood. That's right. your brother, man. Right. A black man see a Mexican man, he automatically he think, oh man, that's a, that's a damn Mexican right there. That, that, uh, that's a uh, ethnic Mexican. You know what I'm saying? But that's your brother, man. That's your carnal according to the Bible. That's right. You're reading the Bible, man. We the same family. We come from the same bloodline. And better yet, man, we got the same enemy, man. Right. We got the same oppressor, man. Right. You understand? We got the same problems, man. Right. We got the same problems, man. You know what we need to do? We need to come together. Get, get, you know what I mean? See your, see your local Mexican man and ask him how hard it is for him. Right. Ask him about his struggle and you know what you're going to find out? You're going to be like, damn, what you're going through is what I go through, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got, you, I mean, you, you know what I mean? It's hard for you to pay that rent. It's hard for me to pay that rent. The cops are pulling you over, they're pulling me over. Right. You got cousins in prison? Man, I got cousins in prison. Right. You got a cousin doing 25 to life? Man, I got a cousin doing 25 right. of life. Right. He ain't coming home? Man, my, my uncle just got deported. Right. Man, you got to pour a drink together, man, and find out, like, damn, we we the same damn family, man. That right. We, the, we got the same oppressor. Right. We got the same struggle. You understand? But the only way you really get going to get understanding of this is if you come into the knowledge of the Most High, man. Right. And the knowledge of the Most High is in the Israel School Universal Practical Knowledge, man. Right. You understand? Under command in right. Rihanna. We ain't playing with this, man. We ain't going to give you nothing that's watered down. We right. going to tell you the truth, man. And the truth is going to set you free. Right. You understand? You got something for me, Ike? If not, give me Isaiah 52 and 1. Give me Isaiah 52 and 1, man. We're going to give you the scriptures. We're going to give you the truth about the Bible, man, and what the Lord wants from black and Latino men. What the Lord requires from black and Latino men. Right. The, let me tell you straight up and down, man. The Lord does not want a black man to be weak. Right. The Lord does not want a Latino man to be weak. Right. He doesn't want a Native American Indian man to be weak. Right. He wants you to have some goddamn strength, man. Right. You understand? He wants you to be strong. He wants you to be able to get up on your damn feet right. and fight for your family, man. Right. And fight for your nation. Right. And fight for your people, man. Is there anything wrong with what I said? The white man um, join the military and fight for his people. Why, why can't you join the military and fight for your people? And I'm not right. talking about America. I'm talking about the Lord's army, man. Right. right. The Lord got a military, man. Right. The Lord has an army, man. Strictly for blacks and Latinos, man, and right. Native American Indians. That's right. Let's see what the Lord got to say. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 1. Awake. Awake. First thing you got to do, man, is awake. Right. Wake up, man. Wake up. Wake your game up, man. Right. You understand? I know you are high out your mind. You done spoke five or ten blunts, and you have half asleep. Right. The Lord wants you to put that blunt down, man. Right. You understand? The Lord wants you to wake up from the American dream. He said, "Awake, awake, go ahead. Awake, awake. awake. Put on thy strength." One more time. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength. The Lord said, "Put on thy strength, man." You ain't going to get no strength in the Christian church. Right. The Christian church going to put you to sleep. Right. With all that singing and dancing and kumbaya and all and everything else they do in church. I don't know. I ain't been there in about 10 years. Right. You understand? I don't know what they teach you in church. But I know it'll keep you to sleep, man. Latino man, get up out that Catholic church, man. You're learning from a damn pedophile. Right. You don't think that Catholic priest don't molest 10 kids? 
do me a favor for any Hispanic or Latino, any Catholic church that you go to, why don't you dig up the history of the church where you're at? Why don't you ask about your priest and ask how many kids he's done molested? Right. I guarantee you there has to be at least three of them. Right. At least three kids he's done molested. At least three. You understand? Why do I say that? Because the Catholic Church has a reputation of molesting kids. Right. If you if you in church, ask your pastor how much money he has stole from your neighborhood. Right. How, how many wives has he slept with? And if he, if he ain't stole no money, if he ain't molest no kids, how many lies has he told you? Right. How many lies has he told you about the Bible? Everything he told you about the Bible is a lie. That's a guarantee. That's a fact. Because there ain't no truth inside the church. You understand? The Lord said, awake, awake. Go ahead. Awake. Awake. Put on that strength, O Zion. Put on that strength. Who is Zion? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. The Lord is saying for us to put on our strength because you weak right now, man. Right. Man, it's 2023. And in America, you got black and Hispanics wearing dresses, putting on finger, uh, fingernails, you know, painting their nails, wearing wigs, transvestites, LGBTQ. Right. Listen, man, we ain't got no strength in America. Right. 2023, 2023, a lot of times, you still got brothers smoking crack, huh? You still got brothers uh, uh, on drugs? How old, how old is crack? Uh, for, for what I understand, that comes from the 80s. And you still got brothers on crack right now. You understand? You, uh, and, and now you got fentanyl. You got fentanyl, you got crack. And the biggest drug in the world is that damn weed. I know you hate, I know you hate to hear it, man, but weed is a drug, man. And that takes away from your strength. Right. You ain't got no strength, man. You smoke too much damn weed, you can't even stand up for your people. The minute I tell you the white man's the devil, nah, man, he ain't the devil, man. He done gave me weed. He done legalized ah. weed, and you know, right. Bob Marley and you know, Kumbaya, let's get together. We got a Bob Marley sign right here. You know what I'm saying? What weed does is take away the fight away from you, man. You can't fight for your people if you're getting high out your mind all the damn time. Right. You can't fight for your people if you're stuck inside the Christian church. You can't fight for your people if you love America. The scripture says this, no man can love two masters, man. Right. Either you're gonna love one and hate the other. Man, you better love God and love your people and hate America because America hates your people. Right. Let me get, uh, let me get Job 38 and three. Let me get Job 38 and three, man. And let's go back into what the Lord requires from our people, man. The Lord requires you to be a man. The Lord requires you to fight for your people, man. You understand? And America has an agenda. America has an agenda to take away the fight from you. America has an ag agenda to take away the aggression from you. Right. America would rather have you be a little happy Christian walking around with a suit and tie, loving everybody, working a nine to five, and that's gonna be your life until the day you die. Right. That's not what your life is about, man. Your life, man, black and Hispanic man, is to fight for your people and fight for your for your race, Latino man and black man. You got people on the border right now who need your help. You got people on the border right now, Mexicans and Central Americans at the border right now that need our help, man. Right. You understand? You go to Florida right now, Florida, the, what is it? The senator in Florida is trying to deport the Hispanics out of that, out of that, um, out of that state. You understand? Who's gonna help them out? Who's gonna help out the, the people in, in Florida who have no jobs, man? The Mexicans and the Hispanics are getting deported. You understand? They need our help. But let me sidebar real quick for you white folks, real quick. If, if there is no Hispanics in Florida working in the fields, who's gonna work those fields? Who's gonna pick that cabbage? Who's gonna pick that zucchini and squash?
Who's going to pick those tomatoes? Who's going to work them fields? I know damn well you ain't going to do it. Right. You ain't going to work in the fields. You can't do it. You probably do 30 minutes and that's going to be it. Right. Let me tell you something, man. You need us more than we need you. That's right. Straight up and down. You need us more than we need you. We don't that's need you right. for a goddamn thing, man. We got the Lord, man. The Lord on our side. You understand? But what do we need you for, man? The minute that Hispanics, all the Hispanics get deported from Florida, Florida's going to fall. Right. Because there's not going to be a single Caucasian that will work in that field. Right. You understand? Let me tell you, man, that, 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 that goes to show you that America needs us, man. That, that, got, that has to give you power, Latino man. That shows you that they need us. But you're so caught up in your mind and you think that you need to be, be um, need America. You think you need to run over here for some freedom and some money. Man, listen, man, that's not what you need. You need to serve the Lord, man. You understand? Where we at? I'll keep going. The book of Job, chapter 38, verse 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Gird up thy loins like a what? Like a man. Black man and Latino man, the Lord wants you to be a man. Gird up thy loins. What does that mean? You better pick up those things, man. Right. You understand? Pick up thy cajones, man. You understand? Pick up your balls, black and Hispanic man. Right. That's what the Lord wants. Keep going. Gird up thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee. And the Lord demands that of you. Why does the Lord want that from you? Because he wants you to fight for your nation. That's what he wants. I'm in a hell of a hole, was never expected to grow. Just also go sat in the road, that a result of me selling my soul. The story I'm telling is cold, but yet it's what everyone knows. The white man's the devil is known. America was never our home. Only a place of captivity, safe facility, hating, disfigure me. They claim that I'm lazy, be killing me. Maybe this slavery draining my energy.